everybody. Welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today I'll be doing a painting and um, I'm going to show you what's going on. So let me get all set up. Uh, I'll be right back. Hey everybody. Today I'm decided to do alcohol ink on tiles. So I did this tile last week. I haven't put the resin on yet because I do all of it. Um, and then I'll put a heavy coat of resin and let that dry. But I haven't done the resin yet. Today I'm doing four of these tiles to make it look like that big tile that you just saw. I can't make them look exactly the same, but I will come close with the colors. So as long as the colors are the same, we're good. Now I'm starting with 91% alcohol and I'm using pinata dark blue right now. And I'm just gonna blow this around. And I also have tubes of alcohol ink that I got from a company. I'll list all of everything below on what I'm using. And I'm just going from side to side until I get my desired look. And I'll be picking up the alcohol or alcohol blending solution and my pigments and doing each tile the same way. Again, I laid some alcohol down, I have my blue, and I'm just gonna go from side to side, back and forth, until I get the desired color that I'm looking for. If it's too dark, you can always add a little bit more alcohol ink or blending solution. And if it's too light, you can always add a little bit more ink. I'm going to do my edges here. So I'm going to pick this up and show you what I have. Look how pretty. I'm trying to make it look the same way. So I will be using, like I said, all the same colors. A little bit more alcohol. Now I'm going to go for a different color. Oop, there's some purple from a different painting I did. So there's um, a little bit of green. And this is pinata again that I'm using. I know it looks purple because I got purple on the outside of the bottle, but it's actually green. And remember, I did lay some 91% alcohol down first. And that helps give it like, helps it move around quite a bit. And you see how fast it dries? It dries pretty quick. Now this time I am using a little bit of blending solution.
So that towel's finished, and now I'm gonna start on the other ones. I'm basically gonna use the same colors and do the same thing. A little bit of alcohol, push the pigments around to make it look like the big tile. When I'm all finished with these tiles, I will do a flood coat of resin, which is a heavy coat of resin on top. After about 24 hours of letting them dry, so I will let them dry 24 hours, do a flood coat of resin, let that dry for a good couple days. And um, you wanna pick the right resin also. I wouldn't recommend art resin because it does scratch very easily and there's resins for countertops and bars and stuff like that well i would definitely choose that resin because it's a little bit harder and you don't have to worry about your coasters getting scratched up also when i'm done my coasters i have a grinder um, and i do after i flood coat the resin on top i do um, let the drips just drip down and then I grind them off put little felt pads on the bottom and then I'm finished I think um, they're absolutely beautiful they're heavy duty also these tile ones compared to the wood so I'm going to fast forward this a little bit so you guys um, don't get bored too bored anyway because basically I'm doing the same thing with each tile. Come on, Duke. You want to go for a walk? Let's go. Come on. Get out. Come on. You know, someday, 
Duke is going to jump up and surprise you all. And me too. <laughs> Have a good day.